So my name is David Woodbridge and I work as an assistive technology consultant at Vision Australia. About 10 years ago, I used to carry about eight different devices around, such things as light detection until the lights are on and off. Nowadays, I've got all those different products in one device that I can use every day. The best thing about the iPhone and the watch that makes them work is they've got accessibility built into them, particularly for voiceover, because I can touch the screen or I can flick my finger left and right to move item by item. And then once I've heard the item that I want to use, I can do a one finger double tap anywhere on the screen and that'll activate the last item that just spoke to me. One of the main things to do with travel, particularly with trains, is finding out what platform the train's leaving off. And rather than trying to find somebody to ask, if I use an app like TripView, I can find out what time the train is and what platform it's leaving off what platform the train's just arrived on. If I know the station, I can tell where the stairs are and, and get off the station properly. When you go shopping or you want to go and grab a cup of coffee and you've got a couple of notes in your pocket, being able to just quickly get out your iPhone, run an app like the Money Reader Identification app, find out what your denominations are in your pocket before you go and buy a coffee, make things a lot more streamlined. Technology in general allows me to be more independent because the apps that I use allow me to do everyday things that everybody else would do. It's just that I use technology to do it. As soon as you say to somebody, it's accessibility, it's like, oh, well, I, I, don't, I don't need that. I'm not one of those people type things. Why build in accessibility to any product at any time in anybody's life? Something will cause you to have some issues getting around or getting access to information. The same for somebody who has, has got that particular condition, if you want to put it that way, all the time. Universal access and universal design is a better way of saying accessibility because accessibility sounds like it's for a small minority group of people. Whereas you say it's universally designed for everybody, they go, oh, that's fantastic. What does it do? 